This is Code.org. Let's see what we have here. The moment of choice. During the final user testing and feedback session, before the app was released to the public, one final issue was surface. Code the display results function to display one random movie from the filtered movie list within the output text element. Okay, so let's find this method. Here we are. Display results. And it has a parameter hill filtered list. So let's see what we need to pass to this. Uh, display results. Oh, they want the filtered movie titles. And that variable was populated with our filter by release method when we passed it, uh, this argument. So again, we're going to pass this as the argument, or we could say the parameter. Um, honestly, this is the argument. The parameter, if we go up to display results, is, which I just passed maybe, is this. Filtered list is the parameter. We're passing it the argument movie, uh, filtered movie titles. You could call them both parameters. That's fine. Choose one random value from the list argument, uh, from the list argument to display. Choose set property to update the output text and create an error message. Okay. So if we're going to create an error message, if there are no movies, we're going to need an if else. I'm sure, certain of that right away. So when would there be an error message if there are no movies? So how do I know there's items in my list? Well, I can do filtered list dot length. So if it's greater than zero, we're good to go. We know there is content. There are movies here. And then we can uh, create a variable that we can use here. So let's do variable random index. Cool. And then I'm going to head over here to math, math random. And we're going to start at zero because remember, indexing starts at zero. So index zero is our first item. When we're measuring the length of something, if a, if a list only has two items, its length is two, right? But the indexes in that list with two items are zero, which would be the first item, and one, which is the second item. Just keep that in mind. So zero to filtered uh, list dot length. So we want to go all the way to the end of our list. Um, and now this is inclusive, which I always forget, meaning this will go all the way from zero to the end of our list, meaning the length. So if there's two or if there's three items in our list and filtered list dot length is three, this would allow a random number to be three, which doesn't work because indexing starts at zero. And so we need to make sure it's one less than the length. So the length of a list with three items would be three, but the indexes would only be zero, one and two. So random index there. And then we're going to set the output text. Uh, now they say set property, which you can totally do, uh, but I'm going to do it both ways just to show you. Since it says set property, you might want to abide by that, but I will be doing also output text. This is the ID of the element. And then the text will be equal to, um, filtered list and then my random index that I created here. Okay. So that's the set text way, or we can also do it this way. I'll put text, text, and then I can select, um, this will be our error message. So if there was not more than zero elements in the list or, uh, I'll say, oh no, there are no movies in the list. Okay. So, oh no, there are no movies in the list. This is looking all right. Let's see what I've done wrong. Oh, I always do that. Filtered. Cool. That's all looking good. Test your code. The program should now be running without needing to keep the council open to debug. Yeah. And this is looking awesome. Cool. Onward.